Good evening, Keller Williams, Marty Miller with Summit Property Group coming to you today on a pretty amazing day, the day after we officially launched our agent sites. I uh, wanted to talk to you today about uh, a little bit of kind of about the customization process and how it is a two-step process to ensure that you see any updates that you made to your site. So if you have not already gone through the Kelly Guide to create your site, you're going to want to come over here to the Sites applet, click on that, come down to the very bottom, and start off by Learn More with Kelly Guides. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. I've already done that, and this is my website. You can see I've customized what it says on the front. I've got my drop-down box here. I've got my About Me page. I've got the Contact Us page. Um, then I've got the About Summit Property Group page as well. You can see all of my social links are added. So I've gone through and done a lot of customization. You've probably done some too, and if you haven't, again, you're just gonna go through this Kelly Guide clicking learn more with Kelly Guides. So the first thing that's gonna happen, it's going to ask you what provider would you like to use? And the majority of us will most likely continue to use or want to use the new KW agent sites. So I would click on that dot and click on submit. And it's gonna take me into the Kelly Guide wizard. Um, there are several wizard videos, excuse me, out there right now, including several by uh, Kelly Williams, about how to walk through this wizard. And yet this compliance reminder is, is new, really as of yesterday. Um, it's just kind of a heads up to make sure that you must meet the following requirements. You've got to have a market center or brokerage DBA logo. You have to have an ownership statement and you must be in compliance with your local board or commission laws and rules. Essentially what Keller Williams is saying is we don't know 100% the compliance in every single market of every single state and it is ultimately up to the agent to verify the accuracy and the compliance of their website. You can even see KWRI is not responsible for verifying that accuracy. So as long as you're good with that, you can click on Acknowledge and Continue, and then you're gonna work your way through this Kelly Guide. Now, if you haven't done this, like I said, this video is not really about teaching you how to use the guide. However, those of you that have done part of it and then go in and make a few changes, what you have to do is a second step, okay? So I've gone in, I've customized, now I'm gonna come back out and I would go through all of the pages, right? So there's several pages that I can work my way through. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of time. I'm just gonna click on the X, which is gonna take me out of this wizard. So now that I've made those changes, if I come back to my website and I go to look at the changes, right? I'm gonna do a refresh on my site and say, okay, cool, let me see how those changes turned out. Um, well, it looks like maybe I didn't go through the Kelly guide all the way through. Let's do that one more time and see if it's still, it was hanging up for several people, basically meaning that you would make a change and then you would not be able to see that change. So let me just tweak something in my, um, let's see, realtor, let's change my job title to real estate consultant, just for kicks and giggles. And I'm going to click on save and continue. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and go, let's just go all the way through. So I'm going to click on save and continue. I'm going to save and continue down here at the bottom, continue through, continue through. I'm going through each one of those three pages that we talked about. And then I finish the guide so I can close out the guide. And then when I come back into my site to see what the changes look like, and let's just go back to the home page. So let's go to martymiller.kw.com. And you can see this is what's happening to a lot of people. They come back to their site and it's like, wait a minute, where's my site? I don't have Summit Property Group showing up. I don't have the new header that I put in. I can't check my bio changes I made. I can't check the page changes I made. So there is a second step. Whenever you go through that Kelly guide to make any changes, you need to come back into command click on the drop down box and then click on settings and from there you're going to choose the connect settings here on the left hand side so connect settings and then marketing profile my dog wants to go outside so he's going to be making noise in the background and i apologize um, so you can see here use my information to brand my agent site this is a slider and you need to make sure that that is slid over if you will and then it's going to give you that compliance reminder one more time. And so I'm going to acknowledge it. And it says perfectly it was saved. 
And now you can see that this is slid over. I still need to come down to the very bottom and click on save one more time. And then what I have seen is the timing is usually about five, maybe 10 minutes or so, and those changes will go into effect. So you can see it's still a KW site, but if I give it about five or 10 minutes, my changes will take effect and I can see them. So just kind of a heads up, it is a two-step process. If you're making changes in your Kelly guide, do make sure that you come to settings, connect settings, marketing profile, and slide this slider over. I can almost guarantee you probably about 75 to 80% of the uh, questions we had today regarding the sites were because this marketing profile slider was not slid over and or saved. All right, so that's it guys. Exciting opportunities for KW agents to create these amazing and powerful sites that are only getting powerful by the day, uh, but just wanna make sure that you actually have access to them and can see those changes that you made. So we're just gonna give it one more check to see. I'm not gonna let this video go on 10 minutes while it updates. So just trust me that in probably about five to 10 more minutes, it'll actually show up. That's it for today, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you soon.